This is another cell haul. This time it's Severn's mid year cell. Let me show what I picked up during their cell. First up, I got Bloody Moon. Looks like a slasher. That looks awesome. Jess Franco flick. Next, I got Devil Hunter and Cannibal Terror. Looks like another Jess Franco film. Cannibal films are pretty good. Not my favorite, but still enjoy them. Next we got The Beast in the Cellar. It's like a British horror film, 1970s. And these are kind of like slow pace, but they build up. Next we got Byleth, a Demon of Incest. This is a Demonic Possession movie with gothic and horror. Jalo slants. Yeah, I don't know. It's a demon movie. Okay, we got Robo War. This is like a Robocop mixed with Rambo. That was pretty fun. We got Shocking Dark. This is like a Terminator mixed with Alien. Yeah, these are pretty fun. Sound fun. Castle of the Creeping Flesh. It's like a gothic horror. That's like a German gothic horror. Should be good. Got the Black Cat. Another Eddie. Eddie Growl and Poe adaptation. These are fun. Enjoy the Black Cat films. Cruel Jaws. Another Jaws knockoff. Yeah, these are fun. I heard this is a. This is like. It's gotten. Like rights issues. I don't know if it's out of print or not. I heard. Something Patrick Still Lives. This is a sequel to Patrick Lives, which I thought was okay, a little slow paced. But I heard this one's better. We got Shock Treatment. Yeah, I have no idea what this film's about. Uh, I know it's not the 80s Shock Treatment. Uh, musical that Arrow put out but yeah, a lot of these are blind buys don't know much about these Massacre in, Jap in Dinosaur Valley yeah I have no idea <laughs> looks fun though Gwendolyn I heard this is kind of like a Indiana Jones film which you don't get that from seeing the cover. Yeah. So next, so next, these are the films I've actually opened up and watched. First is a Peanut Butter Solution. Yeah, this one's pretty fun. Um, it's like a low budget film, kid film. Kind of reminded me of uh, those '80s school. Movies that they should show you in, in school in class, like learning films. Yeah, so that's fun. Another one I've already seen that I opened up and watched that is that is When the Wind Blows. I thought it was I thought it was okay. Still interesting. See these two people uh, experience nuclear a nuclear bomb. And the effects, pretty bleak story, but still pretty good. And the 
last one, of course. Blood for Dracula. Yeah, this is an awesome film. This is one I've been waiting for. Um, I've been wanting. I'm glad Severin put it out. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It's kind of a slow paced, kind of artistic, and uh, has some shocking elements to it, too. Yeah, it's the type of films I like. Blood for Dracula. So that's it. Thank you for watching.